Hey, what's up, online family? <laughs> I have a very uh, a message that's very dear to my heart that I want to share with you today. I'm about to show you a video that my brother Daniel and I shot in the beginning of October of 2016 when we first got the idea of Tribe Design Online. Since then, now it's uh, May 16th of 2017, I have participated almost every day in Tribe Design Online. This is our, <laughs> I, you know, for the last 10 years, I've been tra traveling around the world, hosting retreats, doing all types of different things. And for the first time in my life, I feel so congruent, so in alignment and asking you and inviting you and telling you that I want you to be part of it. I want you to give it a shot for a month. And I, I just am amazed of how much I've enjoyed participating on a daily basis with this group, getting to know these these people who have turned into friends, these people who have turned into some of my uh, the partners in business, people who I'm living with, um, some of my best friends, a network of people that I can connect with all over around the world. And the one, one of the founding principles of this product is that we want you to be honest. That's one of the only things that we, we ask you to do with us. So I'm about to uh, connect this video with the video we shot in the beginning of October of 2016 and I'm going to put the link if you would like to join us in Tribe Designer in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube it'll be below uh, on Facebook above probably and just want to invite you in a way that feels so authentic so in alignment with my heart to say that hey I really believe in what's happening here and if you have resonated with our message along the years of you seeing us online or maybe you're just getting to know us then I wanna ask you to give it a shot for one month. It is $97 and I truly believe that the value that you're gonna get is gonna far exceed that. And I actually think that you're gonna start generating more money in your life than ever because you're gonna be now participating and in, 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 um, contributing with a group of people that are gonna hold you accountable to showing up as your best self, maybe a self that you've never even um, knew existed inside of you. Okay, so peace and love, guys. Feel free to watch the rest of this video that my brother and I created. I think that you might resonate with some of these basically life experiences that we've had along our journey. Aloha, y'all. This is a public service announcement. I'm gonna give you uh, a bomb of wisdom that my dad has been dropping on me since the beginning, and I think it's worth hearing. If you have a problem, you're the problem. And potentially, your biggest problems are thinking that you have. Man, that's a great point. I can't tell you how many times I've heard it, and I've even told it myself. Oh, I wanna be a, find a, a group of people that won't judge me, <laughs> or uh, just let me be who I am. If I've waited to find that group of people, if you wait to find that group of people, you never will. People are gonna judge, I make judgments, I make opinions, so let's just talk about them out loud. It's a great point as well, uh, Brad Blanton, actually the author and the pioneer of radical honesty has an idea that the number one cause of dis-ease is stress, the number one stressor in people's lives is lying, and the most insidious, dangerous form of lying is actually withholding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that like brings up memories for me, like being at a dinner, right, when someone maybe leaves early, and as soon as that person leaves, we all begin talking about that person. And that withholding that feedback from that person is doing such a disservice because it's that feedback that could be most valuable to that person and instead of telling it to them, we just talk about it behind their back. If you're talking differently to, to your family, friends, children, spouse, co-workers, different than how you talk about them, right there is a clear indication of the issue at hand. You know, I'm so glad that um, I am where I am today, <laughs> but man, for all, many years of my life, I, I felt like such a spectator in social interactions, where I would be sitting with a group of people and just listening. And instead of like knowing and understanding that all the things that are going on in my heart and my head are important, I would just chose to silence those things. And I, I get, I remember being so like feeling sleepy and tired, and I just want to avoid the whole situation completely. Yeah, I think what happened to you in the past and what's happened to all the thousands of people that have worked with us in the past or the hundreds of people that have come to our events is that they were in a state of basically worshipping the opinions of others' people 
and unconsciously or not, wanting to fit into the mold of what they imagined other people expected from them, rather than living inside out and being the child of the creator that they are. Mm. And that is an energy drain if I've ever seen one. I was just recently, I was driving down the road and I was having a bad day. Um, and I noticed how I was driving a little recklessly, which brought me to this thought that when I am not being honest with myself and especially with the others around me, I was feeling so discontent that it was like I almost wanted something to happen in my life that would just change my current state. Like I was almost, I, what I'm alluding to is I was almost feel like ready to get in an accident because I was so unhappy with the way my life was going. Yeah, I don't know how many uh, viral Facebook photos and memes have to be spread to really get people to not only believe but embody that the idea of where the most growth and the most conducive growth takes place is outside your comfort zone. Because what's happened in the past, a lot of people resorted to fighting, flighting, freezing, or facading, rather than seeing how alive they can be in their own fun comfortability of this super skin suit that we have. And I do believe, I can echo what Timothy is saying there, I think if people are not willing to consciously go into their fun comfort zone on purpose for the purpose of growing and glowing with the flow of life, they might accidentally find themselves there. Mm. Wow, yeah, that, uh, man, it's bringing up a lot for me right now. Thinking about so many times, it was like, I was afraid to get angry, and I was, didn't want to show t moments when I felt so happy. So I was like stuck in this place of indifference. Like, I just didn't even care what was going on. And now looking back on that, I realized that that was the lowest vibrational state that I could have been at, is just feeling like I didn't care. Yeah, the, the opposite of, and I've heard this before, the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. For a long time I had a group of friends that I would share 70% of things with. And then I had even a smaller group of friends, maybe one or two like my brother, that I would share 80% of the stuff that was going on within me. But what I believe at this point in my life is that the real goal is in that 20% that we that I never chose to share with anybody. And I'm so grateful and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even give Daniel credit for giving me the space to share that 20%. I real I now realize that it's up to me. But that's really where the gold is found, is in that that per, that small percentage that you think that I have thought, if I told them that they wouldn't like me, if I told them this, that they wouldn't want to be my friend anymore, if they really knew what I was thinking in this moment. It would, um, you know, it'd ruin our relationship. I've actually found the opposite. Sounds like you've overcome the spell of thinking you're too much or not enough. And rather than even worrying about that, you've decided to be who you are and find freedom in that. And I think what Timothy's scratching the surface of is an indication of how some people do some things somehow carry over to how they do everything. Mm. And if you're not willing to grow through your anger or your sadness, or your awkwardness, then you might not be willing to grow through your happiness, joy, and bliss. And alongside, you know, talking about almost wanting to attr attract a disaster in my life because I was so un or discontent with the way things were going in my life, I also uh, remember a correlation when I felt like I was not being authentic, not uh, coming from a place of transparency. These are, the mo these are the times in my life where I felt the least motivated. I didn't want to go work out, I didn't want to go create uh, my creativity was definitely suffering, especially being an entrepreneur. I, I didn't want to, you know, wake up in the morning and create. I was just, I, again, I was feeling a bit indifferent about life. Um, and I also, I truly believe that those times in my life were when I was like repelling people away from me, like repelling girls, for instance, when I wasn't being honest with myself. I felt like girls didn't want to be around me. Yeah, so I think if someone is watching this and you find yourself in this state of apathy, indifference, maybe a lack of curiosity or a lack of expression, or maybe you're seeking so hard to find a group of friends who will accept you who you are, you probably haven't fully expressed yourself and aka accepted yourself. And if you're looking for a group of friends that are willing to talk to you how your friends won't talk to you, I don't think it's by accident you're here. If you're still convinced that you have a problem, we're going to give you the solution. The solution to pollution is dilution. And I'm not only talking about drinking good water there, but I'm talking about letting the unconscious spring that's within you bubble up 
without filtering it, without adding fluoride to it, without manipulating it to fit into everyone's paradigm of you, how you think they might like you. It's about letting you become the spring of infinite wisdom that you are. Yes, I would agree that the challenges, the good news is that the challenges that you're facing in your life, there's a solution. And I think that what is happening right here is a huge part of it. I know it's been a huge part for me. And to put this in other words, the solution is not to dump all your pain and all your secrets onto your wife or onto your family or onto one friend. The solution is actually by having a tribe of people to call you up to your highest and make sure that you're not gonna be arguing for your limitations consciously or unconsciously. It's to be fully seen by the maximum amount of people possible. And that's why we've put the best of the best exercises, perspectives, and an actual full training series of how you can start to live inside out and let go of putting the pressure and the self-inflicted prison of your mind by living inside out and the keys are in your heart and we're gonna get you there. Yeah, get ready for your excitement about life, your creativity, your aliveness, you waking up in the morning excited to share what's really going on with you is getting ready to explode. This tribe and the training is actually a radical recontextualization of authentic communication. It's not the idea that we think is gonna sell the most, it's the idea that we think is the most effective at unlocking your genius so that you can start getting paid to do the things that you would pay to do. It was right around 10 years ago that when I was graduating from Emory University with my biology pre-med degree, they call it a BS, I think that's a key acronym, that Timothy was also graduating high school. And we really faced the question, what would we pay to do and how can we get paid to do it? And right there, that's what unlocked a series of synchronicities that led us down the rabbit trail of self-development, self-realization, self-actualization, from the spiritual world, to the emotional world, to the physical world, to the holistic perspective. And uh, what ended up happening is we, we created events on health through honesty. And not average honesty. We radically dove deep with countless amounts of people to find out that underneath the things that people weren't willing to talk about in the past, that when we create a space for them to go there, that that's where their true gifts were unleashed. Ever since I fully started to participate in this idea of living inside out, my life has looked somewhat of a dream. I am not even joking here. I've woken up probably every day for the last five years, asked myself, what do I wanna to do today? And I did it. And it seems as if amazing people are being attracted in my life, amazing opportunities. I mean, we're sitting right here above uh, one of my favorite surf spots in our uh, vacation rental home for a month. And I'm just saying, it has something to do when I truly started to participate in this idea. And you've probably seen us interacting with all kinds of professional athletes or authors or celebrities, but regardless of the name dropping or the idea of building credibility about that topic, I want to really share my heart that I am so blessed to be surrounded by a group of peers and friends and actually my wife now who I met on an event four years ago who is now pregnant. It's, a, it's the best testimony that I can give that I've now surrounded myself with people that are no longer allowing me to argue for my limitations or not live to my full capacity but they're continuously encouraging me to take it to the next level and sure enough that has been proven by a lifestyle where I believe it only gets better. So you heard us mention that this is a group of friends who are gonna tell you the things your friends aren't telling you. Welcome to Tribe Design Online. Yeah, for all my fellow leaders out there, and whether you consider yourself a leader or not, you are. You're leading your life. You're the driver of your vehicle. Um, that the best way of leading is listening. And the best, the best way of living is giving. And the best way to master something is to teach it. So I believe when, by giving us permission to bypass our mind with one take, one video feedback, and go straight to the heart, that we're unlocking spiritual gifts that serve as a foundation for your vacation if you're not already there. Hey, so if you've made it this far in the video and you feel like you can resonate with some of these life experiences, 
and you want to join a group of like-hearted individuals that through a process of really radical and raw honesty, uncovering all this stuff that's sometimes getting in the way of understanding our true gifts, the God-given gifts that we have, then I want to again invite you to give Tribe Designer a shot for one month. Click the link in the description. Invest the $97. And I'm telling you from my heart to yours that it's going to be fi by far worth it for you. All right, I look forward to uh, seeing you in there, watching your first introduction video, and giving you and leaving you my most honest feedback that I can. Love you guys.